Doris, I'm curious a little bit about why Trump likes Andrew Jackson so much. I know he mentioned that quote that he was big hearted. Uh, I'm surprised he didn't say he had a huge heart. <laughs> but, um, from what I remember, it, it didn't seem like Andrew Jackson was the, the most big hearted president to me. What, what are your thoughts on that? I think it's partly because Andrew Jackson was presumably a man of the people. He was the first president who was elected outside that of elite establishment. So he seems like an anti-establishment man, number one. Number two, Andrew Jackson, as Trump pointed out, hated the press in part because all of the scandals surrounding his wife's first marriage, which may not have been really undone before she married Andrew Jackson, led to her being so sad, led to her death, and he never forgave the press for that. And there is a certain sense in which he was as, as he said, a firm, strong leader when it came to nullification. But who knows why he went to the House, he saw these things, and he just speaks. So sometimes I keep thinking maybe if he goes to everybody's house in the country, every presidential house, and he mentions Millard Fillmore, you know, and, and now Frederick Douglass, of course, coming back to life, and Franklin Pierce and James Buchanan, we can learn from the failures as well as the successes, and people will start going to the presidential homes, and that would be a one good thing that came out of it. <laughs> 